What's up, everybody? It's early. Like, three cups of coffee in. And uh, we need to install some Skylar Labs quick release hood hinges. They're pretty baller. Um, my hood hinges, like everyone's, I'm sure, are old as shit and look terrible. So I'm super excited about these. Um, definitely a two person job just to get the hood off and on. Other than that, it's super easy. Um, and I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, let's get into this video. So I'm just working on just a grip of stuff here on my Del Sol. Um, as you can see, like all my suspensions out, I've got the side skirts off, I've got the fenders off, the bumper. Um, I'm just doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, tucking all the wiring harnesses, but yada, yada, yada. It's a hot mess in here. And it's dusty. Good Lord. Um, I don't even think... I think I started tearing this apart again for the 900th time like a month ago. So I haven't driven the soul in a while, but... Uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. But let me show you guys these hood hinges. All right, so here they are. Very wonderful. I need one of those tiny little hand pointers. Boop, right there. But um, yes, here as they are. Pretty dope. Um, these are aluminum made out of two chunks of aluminum, one here one big one here and then they're anodized i chose black and then i threw the old souls logo on there because i'm extra like that um and these are quick release hinges so i'll show you guys that in a little bit comes with your hardware you know regular old hardware but still very nice quality I wanted some extra extra red ones, some washers, so I got those. Those are available if you would like them. But uh, yeah, top quality as always, guys. Made out of the same material as everything else Mario makes, and uh, it's super dope. Don't worry, guys. These are off-road use only, okay? They're not meant for the streets. Ain't nobody listens to that though. Um, but yeah, stuff is really quality. There's his logo right there. Um, so we need to get these bad boys on there though. All right, I lied. There's one more thing I gotta show you. Um, so on these, it comes with this little guy and it sits right in here like that. So that's the only extra thing that you get um, but yeah. Also, side note, I felt like I didn't need to show you how to take the hood off. It's legitimately one, two bolts right here, and that's it. And then you just need an extra person over on the other side to like pop it off and get it off, but mine's over there. Um, but that's not hard. Uh, I think everyone should know how to do that, but Here's the old one. So you have like one uh, uh, part of this OEM hood hinge, and then you have another part, okay? So like you can see, like right here, and then you have the third part right here. Um, and I like on the Skylar Labs ones, they are, one solid chunk as opposed to this split thing, which I'm not sure why Honda did it that way. Um, but as you can see, mine look terrible. I don't think I've ever taken these apart, I don't believe, um, or off the car, I guess is what I should say. Um, but so hopefully that's not a can of worms. Hopefully there's not a bunch of bullshit under there or some, I don't know, stupid thing, but yeah. So I already took the hood off. 
there's one screw here, one bolt here, one bolt here. And then you got one bolt here and one bolt here. So I'm gonna have to get these guys off and then we'll pop this dude off and put the other one on. So, not obvious to you guys, but to me, is I've never taken my hood hinges apart, and I've never got in to clean this area of my Del Sol, because I really haven't needed to, but like, there's some fuckiness going on on this Del Sol. Like, it looks like a bunch of like, sealant or weather stripping material, or just, like, I don't know what the fuck all this is. Like, just so water doesn't get in here, maybe? But you can tell it's old as shit, and it'll come off. But, like, I mean, I don't think that's OEM. I think that's whoever had my Del Sol last. Like, just slapped a bunch of shit in here, because it was maybe rusting right here or some shit. Like you can see some surface rust, like there isn't any holes in it, but like I definitely need to take all this shit out and clean it out anyways. Cause like you need a level surface here for those hinges to lay down. So I'm gonna have to clean all this business up right here and uh, get this looking all nice again before I like slap the new hinges on there because I don't want just that on there but uh, yeah Inter interesting what you find when you start taking your Del Sol apart and I and I thought I've taken my Del Sol apart a hundred times but uh, yeah definitely clean this up if you got anything like this going on before you throw your new hinges on um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I got this sanded pretty well. I got all the rust off. And as I kept taking back more of this, like, um, uh, seam sealer, I kept seeing more rust, so I went until I didn't see any more rust. So, that looks pretty good right there. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing like I did for here and for along here, which is a like rust uh, preventative coating. So, I'm gonna have to get some more of this stuff and put it on here, cause that's, I don't want this to be bare metal like that. So, that'll be my next steps. So like this is the kind of stuff that drives me nuts just cause that's how my head works. But like I'm 100% sure you could just take off your old hinges and throw on your new hinges. And you don't have to do all of this sort of stuff. But like this is my OCD like fucking you have to do this. So that's what I'm doing right there. But um, yeah, other than that, it's just one bolt here, one bolt here and it bolts on and like that's it you're all done and then you do the other side as well over there and then you have somebody else put the hood up and you're all done but i'm taking a lot of extra time just to get this clean and looking the way i want it because i want all this inner stuff to all be protected from the rust so and i got to figure out what that seam sealer is I think it's in the body manual for the Del Sol and the part numbers are in there. And I think it's like a 3M two part seam sealer, but I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure it out for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. All right, yeah, so we're plugging along here. I'm just fucking taking my sweet time because it gets me out of the house and into the garage. So 
Um, this isn't gonna take you guys that long though, but uh, I got the driver's side all nice and rust protected, looks great. Doing the same side, same thing to the other side. Also looks great after all my sanding and you know, all that you saw in the video there. So just waiting on those to dry. Okay, well this is the part that's very easy. You literally just line your holes back up. You got it right in where it needs to go, you know? And then you just fucking bolt that bitch back on and put the other ones in when you got help for to get your hood on and that's all she wrote, guys. I got them on, they're very cool. I like them a lot. The other ones are in too. They're really slick guys. Um, I did a lot of extra work here. You don't have to do all that extra stuff that I did. You legit could pull your OEM hinges off, put these on and that's it. They're super easy. There's one screw to unhook the hood and to put the hood back on as opposed to all the extra bolts that you had to do with the OEM one. Like it's very nice, very cool, super easy. Um, like always Skylar labs makes super, super awesome things. Um, I can't say enough good things about all the stuff that he makes. So I really like that.